Radi se bota rad, ti vas mislim. Ne ba bo da smijete u preda. A very good afternoon to our sports fans in Port Harcourt and um, it, in, a, in, a, in, a, in its environment. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday in the city of Port Harcourt. My name is Sopriye Godwin Jaja. We're looking at um, everything that has to do with River State football and Nigerian football and Nigerian sports and international sports. And where best are we going to start elsewhere than Rivers Angels winning but not qualifying for the semi finals of the African Women's Champions League? They beat the opponent 4 0. And we'll be talking about that match. And also, Rivers United will be playing their first knock, uh, their, 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 their knockout fixtures match for the Cup Champions League on November 28th um, against the Egyptian side. I have a football expert in the house with me to discuss this one. Kelvin Nelson Eo is the, am I correct? Kelvin Eo. Kelvin Eo, yeah. He's somebody who's actually been following Rivers Angels um for for many years i, I thought it was going to be in cairo but uh he's in portacourt with us here in portacourt well uh, you see uh when, when you are behind you you give your your supports to the girls wherever they are to gather victory uh it they, they represented nigeria i think uh, rivers angels has made history so far the first uh, female team in nigeria the first female team in the continent to mm -hmm. actually represent nigeria in calf confederate uh, in calf champions league uh the maiden edition and uh, despite the fact that the two results did not actually go well to the duel of rivers but that uh, doesn't mean that our our head is on eye uh, we were able to uh, uh get the four zero result being the first team to score four goals uh in this particular tournament we don't know what uh, the semi-finals and the finals we definitely uh, comes out to be, but all the same, uh, Rivers Angels has been able to make history. Um, not a very good uh, result so far, considering how the team jet out of the country, uh, late preparations, late flight, visa issues here and there. Actually, uh, the question is why? Why should Rivers Angels be having that? They, they're an experienced side. I mean, they have. Um, one of the few clubs in Nigeria Female League that have franchise. We, we, we shouldn't. We shouldn't be blaming the Rivers Angels in quotes. Who are the people sponsoring Rivers Angels? Is it not the River State Government? Is it not also the, the Ministry, the River State Ministry of Sport that is in charge of Rivers Angels when it comes to their travel, logistics, and everything? Good of a thing that the governor was pragmatic enough uh, to actually pull Rivers United out of the uh, River State Ministry of Sport to be a uh, part of uh, uh, the government uh, so supervisor. So the question is, we, we set, we'll separate Rivers Angels and Rivers United, is that the best thought? Uh, it, it's not really the best, but you see, in terms of preparations, the, the governor will now tend to pay for you now being uh, maybe by the time you want to see uh, the governor, it will maybe take you days. But now that he's totally under his purview, you understand that this team has an engagement, especially in the continent, and they need to uh, get the adequate preparation, they need to travel out of the country on time in order to so avoid we, fatigue. So now with the, with the rivers, they go under the, under the directly on, on the, under the office of the governor, you will expect that things will flow We expect smoothly. things to flow smoothly, uh, the team should be well pre uh, taken care of, the team should actually prepare ahead of time because they are now directly under the number one supporter of the club, which is the governor himself. But let's not delve into the Rivers United uh, uh, being pulled out of the ministry. We are looking at the Rivers Angels under the River State Ministry of Sport, where we have the Commissioner for Sport. Okay, what happened? Let, let, let's look at, um, let's go to Rivers, let's look at the, how they finish in this CAF Championship. We'll talk about this one, really, and we'll open the lines also very soon. But let's look at uh, the table the results and uh, let's start with the, the first one um, Odi, can, we, can we start with the first one the first caption this is what the table ended up looking like sundowns topped that group aspa ended up second rivers angels third and vinegar queens of kenya bottom of that group um uh, before this tournament um perpetual wokocha um she said rivers angels and sundowns will qualify um it changed nobody i didn't see aspa i didn't see sundowns rivers angels managed to win okay they won the last match comfortably yes, they watched they comfortably won. yeah you, you see uh looking at the table so far mamila the sundas were were already favorite uh to actually qualify for these uh for this group alongside reverse angels per se but uh, the table turns around where we now see Mami Lodi Sundown stopping the group with seven points and um, having uh, Rivers Angels coming third on the log. Um, as far as we, we, I watched that particular game against Rivers Angels, mm -hmm. they arrived they arrived Cairo earlier before enough. They, they, the team rested very well. As far arrived on Tuesday. No, as far arrived when the Rivers Angels arrived on Friday. On Friday, yes. and less than less than uh, 
24 yeah, hours to, well. to your game. Mm -hmm. So you see, fatigue alone, the jet lag and issues, all all things are played before you could be able to settle in in Cairo, your hotel, and maybe all the, all the COVID-19 tests, tests and getting acclimatized uh, with the weather and all those things. Play a huge role to Rivers Angels being hosted out of the median editions of CAF Champions League. So you see, it, 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 it's something that no one expects this result. We, we saw them, in fact, the team was not themselves in their first game. We saw a better side of River Angels in the second game against Mamelodi Sundance, despite the fact that uh, the dubious goal that was awarded to my uh, Mamelodi Sundance, if, if not, River Angels would have been able to get a draw in that particular then. Maybe and then win this one. And then again, win this one. With that, you are now putting Mamelodi Sundance on under pressure for them to be able to beat as far so that we can actually go. Is to it second. possible that no. Sundance and Asfar could have had some kind of arrangement? No, when well, if the second game came out draw, it would have been under pressure for them because they now had four points. No, if we were the River Angels had one point, you get and as far had already had three points. Mm -hmm. So they want to do everything possible to beat as far in that particular game. But if it goes in a draw, as far has four points, they too had four points. You get the whole scenario. So everybody was just the, the mathematical approach of it just came to bear. No, if we were about all the same. Mamilo de Saunders and Asfad played a goalless draw. Mm. Which rivers we River Angels we actually play pray for them to win by two goals to nothing. But that, but that, even one zero will have will, will, will one zero will have helped Rivers Angels. Uh, one zero I don't think would have helped Rivers Angels because uh they, they already had okay, they scored okay, three okay. goals against Rivers yes, Angels yes. and concede one goals against Big Gal, uh, Big Gal Queens of uh, Kenya mm. and you find they now have plus two. So one goal will not have helped Rivers Angels except Rivers United uh, Rivers Angels on their own part score like five to six goals in order to boost their morale. But all the same, the team has crashed out and they crash out uh, being proud coming out. They, although we wake up very late in the third game, uh, coming out to score four goals in this particular without conceding. Mm. I think they are by cancelling all the goals we've scored. But uh, I think this is something we must take into account. Let's come back to the drawing board. Let's see how. The, the other northern Africa and uh, northern uh, uh, continent, they're taking football mm -hmm. to another extent. Let's come back to the drawing board. But you know, you know it's, 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 really, it's really shocking that Nigerian, Nigerian national side dominating African female football, reverse angels producing bulk of the players, about 70% of the players, all the players, Asisa Toshuala, Perpetual Lokocha, Messi Lakini, all the players coming out from Rivers Angels. So you expect them to dominate in this tournament. And currently Rivers Angels still have like five players in the, in that middle of the pack for the Super uh, Super Falcons. You, they, you have uh, Vivian Ikechuku, you have Rofat, uh, uh, Rofat Imora, you have um, uh, Blessing Okbe, we have Saki Mary. A lot of all these players are now part of the... So we expected, although a lot of hype, and don't forget, it was even die minutes. That the team started uh, jelly. getting. Okay, jelly I, I think started we have we, we have a clip. Let's go back to that match earlier on. We we started with that clip. Um, we apologize for those uh, pictures that were delayed. But if we don't get those clips, let's look at the other caption, the four zero caption, just to confirm the the, the result for Rivers Angels over um, Virgil Queens of Kenya. Let's look at that caption, the four zero confirmation of the results um, for Rivers Angels. Can we get a okay? This is the, this is what the table looks like. Um, the the the. the, the Yes, confirmation of yesterday's result, 4-0. And let's also take a listen to Rivers Angels star player, man of the match after yesterday's match. I'm very happy for this. I don't see that. I don't see this coming, but I thank God to make it possible for me, and I thank my teammates also. Thank you. Uh, with the support of my teammate, I didn't do it alone, and I thank God for this. Uh, to work hard, um, I really, I, I know God will help me to do the next thing. God knows the next thing for me. Thank you. Thank you. Goes. Two goals from the uh, penalty spot, mm -hmm. uh, courtesy of Vivian Ikechuku, and, and a red card also, and also a red card in this particular. It shows how hungry this team. Uh, despite the fact that the two results did not go down their way, mm -hmm. but they came out firing to ensure that they leave uh, Cairo, uh, they, they leave Cairo with their heads high, and also to record a victory. I think it was a very good game we saw here. If you want to give Rivers Angels another opportunity, not be business as usual any longer for Rivers Angels. All club, all club, because you find out that uh, FC Robo 
on the other hand, will step up uh, uh, their, their, their performance. You have Nasarawa Amazons, they will also step up their performance. You have uh, Ibum Angels who has been relegated. Uh, they, 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 they don't have anything to uh, to come by. You have uh, the Bayasa Queens who has been a, a team that give Rivers Angels a run for their money. And don't forget now, with this now, it will no longer be business as usual. It will now be a technical progress of every team where we see the managers of every side coming out to put their technical ability on the table on the field of play let's see how you can be able to if you have given the, if you are you've been given the opportunity after winning the league to qualify and represent nigeria in the cup women champions league this is where we want to see and let me say this uh the nff2 nigerian football federation do not even help in this matter per se when you know your team a particular team that is representing the country not what, the country should the, what should the nff have done here we had visa issues yes can't the nff try as much as they could to talk to the egyptian embassy to facilitate these visa issues the team arrived lagos on thursday Okay, on Wednesday, they, they jet out of the country on Wednesday. They arrived Lagos. They wanted to book their, their flight on Thursday for Egypt. And at the end of the day, visa issues, visa issues. Don't you think that a situation like this, Nigerian Football Federation would have been able to step in? Probably the Ministry of Youth and Sport did not connect with the, the NFF. That is where they now say, okay, it, it seems like it is now a river state affair. The river state government has done their own part, sending this team travel you got to lagos visa issues now becomes the whole problem everybody who everybody that needs to take the blame must take the blame it doesn't go to the uh, the, the nigerian women uh, uh, the rivers and just uh, contingent the team and tally because the team prepared themselves they went but, there but you, you well, call, this is the question you they qualified for the calf champions league a month before the tournament so they knew they were going to travel to egypt so they had about a month to have done all these preparations. They have a month. Yeah. Because they played the qualifiers in Cote d'Ivoire. They played uh, qualifiers in, in Cote d'Ivoire. And, and they in, came back to the country. Immediately you qualify, you know that you are playing in Egypt. So you have enough time to have done your visa problem. We, we have enough. Let me use the word we because I'm part of Rivers Angels. I'm yes. also here in so, Rivers So you have, you can, you have enough let time. Let me just say, we, we have enough time. The ministry have enough time. But what played out, you don't forget that the window for registration as well when when the team start to beef up the the, the when, when getting the new players getting new players like uh you talk about monday gift uh a, a player from Bayasa queen it was at the dime minute that Bayasa the queens decided to release the girl for rivers angels so you so see, she bought or she alone I, I i cannot be able to because i have not been able to cite those players whether she was bought or it's on loan, or they just release go and represent uh, Nigeria because no, even if you're going to represent you, no, let's let, go and represent you. The truth is that many, 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 of the, that many of the players from River Angels will move to Greener Pastures after that, the tournament. After this tournament, they, they will move, move to the and you find out that the, the players need to be registered. They need to be even queued into the the calf uh, club licensing for you to be able to feature in this part. So all these things we are delayed tactics in order just to demoralize the team, but all the same. We want we are able to win again, right? Yeah, it's a good one. Let's come back to the drawing board and get things straight. Mm -hmm. If we must but, take women football serious in this country and River State as a whole, because this is our pride. They are daughters, they've done very well for them. Seven times league champions, eight time ETO Cup champions. It's not an easy task for them. Mm -hmm. At least they've been able to do all they can to ensure that they give River State the laurels they deserve. All right, uh, today's match day, uh, the World Cup qualifiers. We'll go to Tangiers, Algeria next because that's the venue for today's match, Liberia against Super Eagles of Nigeria. But let's take a listen to Amadou Pinnick. He's been talking about today's match against um, Liberia. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank everybody. Obi, Apagoma, Leon, Kenneth, Chikweze. Good to see you. Have you back there? Eh? You see me, I feel when they say your leg do one thing, you know? Thank God. That Nigerian spirit. So I want to thank everybody. This game is so very important to us. So very, very important, you know? And you know the reason for two reasons, you know? We need to win this game, win the other game, so that we can be around among the first five. So that we avoid Morocco, we avoid Algeria, we avoid Senegal. We avoid Tunisia. It's not as if we can't play or beat them. But what you can avoid, you should try and avoid. So please, let us try and minimize every mistake. Just listen to your coach. Minimize. 
minimize is very important. We are going to play under a very good atmosphere, good pitch, good timing, you know, and everything. So please, I really want to appeal. Well, Amadju Pinnick, we're talking about this guy. Uh, now, the Super Eagles, they have a crucial match. And that's another talking point. Amadju Pinnick is very much concerned with the World Cup qualifiers, Nigeria against Liberia, coming up in Algeria and in, in Morocco today. So, um, I don't know why, you know, you, you, when you bring Rivers and just matter to Amadju Pinnick, now he says, look, I have my own problem. Super Eagles are playing also today. Well, I, I think everybody, you see, when it comes to organizations, we have various departments, and uh, uh, there's a club department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are there are there are different departments. You have the club licensing department. People who take charge of uh, discipline and logistics and the rest of them. Imagine might be in uh, Liberia currently, trying to Morocco. Um, uh, Morocco to ensure that uh, the team qualify. I, I love the pep talk is actually given to the teams to ensure that uh, uh, you know, you don't need to leave any stone unturned. Approach this game with a winning mentality. Once we win this game and. Uh, expect uh, Cape Verde to actually uh, drop maybe points. drop points in that particular game. Definitely will qualify automatically with one game to spare. I think that's where Amaju is tilting to. Definitely I, I see Rivers, uh, I see Nigeria, the Super mm -hmm. Eagles of Nigeria uh, winning this particular one because uh, with the crop of players we have currently, you have, uh, the life of somewhere uh, somewhere Chukweze is also there. You have uh, uh, Osime, Victor Osime and a good one that uh, Ojan Egalo is back to bring his wealth of experience. I'm going to talk about Ojan Egalo again to you, but let's look at, um, let's just confirm the time of that match, shall we? Oh, can we look at this backdrop, the time of this match? And that man, Wilfred, indeed, he will be a star man for Super Eagles. He, we didn't play the last two matches, but he's back for the Super Eagles um, to this match. Liberia, Super Eagles uh, coming up today, 5 p.m. local time. And so, you, so um, if we win this match, where does it keep us? If, it, if we win this match, definitely with, with, uh, with our concentrations on Cape Verde, look, dropping point, definitely automatically we've qualified for uh, Qatar 2022. And that is what uh, everyone wants Nigeria to. And that's what uh, I think uh, Genero has been able to uh, gather those results for himself, uh, qualifying uh, for tournament. You know what? Some, some people are not happy with Genero. Yes, yeah, so you can qualify with two games to spare. And, then and when I, you I, get to the big stage, you, you uh, or something else played out. But it's good that uh, he has been able to give Nigerian that sense of... Uh, that sense of comfort when it comes to game when qualifiers. Uh, qualifier series you qualify with one game to spare whatever happens in the last game is not nigeria's uh, problem you can remember a lot of nigerians were having bp as, as of when we were passionate fan of the super egos we were all having bps watching super egos when it comes to their last qualifier would they win this particular game? How about what, how, what, how, how what, playing the World Cup? What, 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 don't you have BP when you want no, to play? Just play? Playing the World Cup, we understand. We understand the little gritty behind it. By the time you qualified, you were able to win your first game, your second game. Automatically, you have uh, a chance of qualifying for the round of 16. Before we can now talk about the quarter final, the quarter final, semi final, if possible, going to the final. But the major thing is qualify for this represent tournament. tournament at first. So you don't have a problem thing. with quali struggling to quali qualifying with a game in so spare. I, I, I don't have any problem qualifying as long as we, we get the thing right. Now, the truth is we went to Russia. We lost our first game. We, we were able to beat uh, get a result in one of those Iceland. Uh, ice against Iceland and uh, the lost, other to one, uh, lost to Argentina one game just the way we reverse angels the same thing on the continent so but it seems like at home we are more comfortable but where we need to start getting it right is understanding the weakness and the strength of your opponent we, we, we don't do scouting, we don't do research. I is it think a problem this is scouting or is it a problem? It, 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 it's a, it's it's a, a technical problem because for you so, as a technical so mean, manager... So, so, Genetro, are you comfortable with Super Eagles coach Genetro? To me, as long as he's, he's giving us the result that we all want. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the experiment, uh, experiment of players. You don't even have... Currently, I cannot say this is uh, the, the first 11 of Genetro. Let me ask one question. Johnny Gallo is back to the Super Eagles. Are you comfortable with him? He's 31 years old. Um, there are a lot of other younger players that will have been playing for the Super Eagles. Johnny Gallo is 31 years old. He's playing in Saudi Arabia. He's not playing in Europe. There are players who play in Germany. Um, Taiwa Woni is playing for a German club. He's scoring his fifth high school score in German Bundesliga. Genetro hasn't... Well, he's, he gave me a, a, a shout-out in the last match, but 
I think uh, uh, Odia Egalo coming back to, to the to the Super Ego, it's not a new thing for me. Uh, don't forget, players uh, retired and they all came back. Slanta Ibrahimovic at the same time retired and came back to the national team. Slanta was uh, playing for Milan. Uh, he was playing Odia for Milan. was playing for in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it doesn't matter. It, we are talking about national team, not club, not club football. Uh, the, the competition in Saudi league is not is not like what you is he fit? That's a question we need to ask ourselves. Will you put if, Will you put Odia Egalo in the same shoes with Taiwa Wini? Taiwa Wini? Yes. He has the experience. He has been there. The truth is, Odia Egalo coming back to Super Eagles is not a problem for me. I personally. Know, but, no, but no, I, I must say it's not a problem for me. But every of the players attacking for need to learn one or two things from his experience. Mm -hmm. Knowing full well that he has played in England, he has played in other shows Spain. of Spain, he has now he has gone to study. So a he has played for Manchester United. He has a lot of a lot of approach to different of uh, these games. So when you see tactical progress, you understand that okay, uh, for instance, I am Odio Egalo, you are Victor uh, or Simen. You let me just use it. And I am so you 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 some certain things will, we will you sit on the bench today. You think so? I just hope it will come up from the bench to allow the younger ones to now play, do their thing, get, give their self, uh, make their self count so that people will now start counting on them. Maybe coming off the bench to ensure that, guys, watch me. This is how it is being done as a tanker. Do this right. is how we can do it. I think that's how uh, it should be. One, one more caption before we leave this show, and that has to do with the FIFA Biennial World Cup. And... Um, 20 clubs in the Premier League have kicked up, kicked against it. Um, that's a breaking story. Yeah. All 20 Premier League clubs vote to oppose the Biennial World Cup. What it means is that the Premier League doesn't want the two years World Cup. It's going to affect their calendar. Uh, definitely. It, it, it's not just the Premier League. It will affect all football calendar. For instance, even we, uh, the, let me start off with my own here, we in the Nigerian Professional Football League. By the time even our league has not started yet now, mm. and you want to have a World Cup. So, so in the league, we will be badly hit. Definitely, it will, if, if for instance it was it, uh, it was it during uh, the Russia 2020, uh, uh, 2020 before the coronavirus. If we World Cup here, now we had our league. When we don't have everybody understand that there will be a time for a break yes just to give opportunity for the World Cup, people that want to travel for the World Cup, and people that want to um cover the World Cup. we that are journalists mm -hmm. that wants to cover the World Cup. i think it also give us the opportunity but two years World Cup, it's not even a good uh, it's not a but, good, but it's, it's good business for fifa it's good business fifa only thinks about the money and uh what they will gain at the end of the day from sponsorship deals, advertisement, uh, TV rights, and the rest of them. But the club side, how would they run? Now you but, start... But FIFA pays clubs money for participating. England, has, England has come out to tell you that it will affect but, our calendar. It will affect I'm not, our calendar. I, I'm not, personally, I'm not in support of a right by any work, but I, I feel we should keep the four We World should Cup keep so that the glamour years. will be there. Because by the time you drag it close, you find out that uh, after the next year... In but you know what? But the truth is that COVID-19 affected football. Definitely. And so many clubs are broke. And so the, the easiest way for FIFA to get back some of the money is a two years World Cup for like three or four times and then go back if, to If FIFA wants to keep this Bernier World Cup, they should spell it out. Okay, it is as a result of the COVID-19 that we want to do this. Then we can now return back to status quo, which after is the four years after a duration of maybe two-time experience or uh, after experimenting it for two times. Let's see how it goes so that this club can come back to their full strength in terms of financial, uh, which is where Barcelona is worth it. They, uh, their, their financial record has gone down and you it which is uh, is being affected by COVID-19 and you see if FIFA wants to spell let them spell it out they want to test run this thing for two for two years I know by the time it test run it and everybody sees um, the profit coming in both for the FIFA both for club right. you find out that everybody we don't have okay time. let's look at the Kev's Cup results and that's our final talking points here the caption of that Kev's Cup and we'll round up the show Kev's Cup um, the result of the Kev's Cup, and uh, we have that uh, the caption and uh, some of the matches that were played yesterday. And it's in one of our folders, the Kev's Cup. Result. Kev, by the way, the Kev's Cup is being sponsored by the River State Epic Cup. Are you yes. aware of that? Yes, I'm fully aware. Yes. Yes. So let's look at the results. A result of the Kev's Cup Friday matches Corinthians lost um, to Osaja 2 1. Yahweh 4. Kilometers, I don't want to 
the the this side, bad mind from a distance But this sweet happy and I'm up it down Oh, go me, me, shot Show you the cause, man, for your speaker This time I call job, I miss for my sister Show me the blow, your mind, I'm gonna miss that Kill on me, 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 kill on me,